Hey there. I haven't seen you guys in a while. That's not true. I did the duck video a couple of days ago. Those ducks that we did the video with, I also shot a goose. Uh, shout out to my cousin, uh, Josh, um, my hunting buddy. So look at the size of that goose though, All right? That's, uh, that's like a Christmas goose, if you ask me. Today we're doing goose burgers. Three simple ingredients. Goose, cranberries, dried cranberries, and maple bacon. This is a dark meat bird, very tender. Uh, hardly any fat in that meat. Actually, there's no fat in the meat. Uh, there is some on the skin, obviously. If you're gonna roast this goose, you will have a lot of fat drippings. Um, and we are gonna use, we are gonna boil the carcass down anyways and make some broth. But you'll see once I cut up these breasts, very tender. I'm gonna grind them up in this dope Cabela's grinder. I highly suggest these bad boys go on sale uh, once a year, twice a year, around hunting season. And uh, yeah, great thing. I mean, I've, I've put all kinds of game meat through that. Uh, make great, great burgers. So uh, we're going to cut up these breasts, uh, throw them in the grinder, and uh, we'll show you uh, what we need to do to make the best burgers you've ever had. All right, so I've removed the two legs of a geese. Oh, look at those. Those are gonna be delicious. That's gonna be for another recipe uh, because we're just gonna use the breast today for, and I removed the neck. That makes for some amazing meat and the wings. So we got those saved up for later. We're gonna go ahead and check the breast out. So you see this spine Right here, this breastbone. Just get your knife to follow along the meat. Uh, it doesn't change from a chicken to a turkey uh, to a duck, right? Look at that. Ugh, that dark meat, right? So we're gonna go ahead and remove all the breast meat. There's one side. We're gonna get our finger again, just like we did with the duck, slide your finger Against the bone, we're going to pull away all of that. Re Look how dark and red that meat is, eh? For those of you that don't, uh, I mean, that's almost like a big game, right? So we're going to clear both breasts, both sides, run all that meat. We're keeping the carcass. We're going to boil it down. Uh, we're going to remove the skin, obviously. Uh, the skin's a bit tougher on geese than it is on, uh, on ducks, but we're going to peel it off either way and uh, we'll toss it as well with the carcass for the broth because of the uh, the fat that you can find so look at that beautiful breast so we're gonna do we're gonna finish getting all the meat here on the back on the downside of the breast we're gonna do the other side we're gonna grind it up and it's gonna be uh some pretty epic burgers if you ask me so that's just the breast meat from the goose uh we're gonna go ahead and throw that into the grinder. Yeah. Alrighty, so we've got our beautiful round goose meat. We're gonna go ahead and add the cranberries into the top of the grinder. And what we're looking to do is press the cranberries through in the grinder while we're adding our maple bacon. So the maple bacon will push the cranberries down into our mixture and add that well needed fat. So there you go. You've got your fat from the bacon. You got your goose and your cranberries. So we're gonna mix that all together to make the uh, tastiest burgers uh, you've ever had. 
So here's a good glance. So we blended the bacon, maple bacon, the goose breast, and the cranberries. All the white that you see is fat from the bacon. So that's gonna give that moist, savory kick to our burgers. Uh, once we start uh, grilling them on the BBQ. So just as you would, full disclosure, I've got three drinks going on. Uh, beer tequila, and a gin and tonic. I don't know how that happened, but here we go. So, just as you would normally with your burgers, you got one egg. So we'll crack the one egg in the center, break up the yolk, make a bit of a pocket here. Fair enough. You got your breadcrumbs. So I use Italian breadcrumbs, so they have a bit of Italian seasoning in them. I would use about a quarter of a cup, a little bit of onion salt. Powder the onion salt on there. More Italian seasoning. Be generous. A little bit of uh, steak spice, whatever brand you use, that's the Joe Beef. A little bit of that. A little bit of garlic powder. I used, uh, this is basically pepper, but it's like a fancy cracked pepper. So you take a pinch of that. You can just go ahead and grind regular pepper. And of course, the most important ingredient is the uh, Worcestershire sauce. Some people pronounce it wrong. They say Worcestershire, but I pronounce it the correct way, Worcestershire. And the more you drink, the better you pronounce it. So you go ahead and add some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Uh, generously splash it across. If I had to guess, I would say a tablespoon or two. So once you've got all of that, you're just gonna go ahead and mix that. Uh, you can use a spoon or you can go ahead and man up and use your hands. I'm gonna start with the spoon just to get it, you know, a little bit blended and then I'm gonna go ahead and knead that properly for you guys off camera uh, just to save you the agony of watching me uh, mix and make the patties. So there you have it. That's all you need and I don't not many of you will have access to goose. It's not a problem guys. Uh, whatever meat you choose to make your burgers with uh, same thing, just uh, just follow this this recipe and uh, you're gonna make some epic burgers. So after this, we should have patties done and we'll be on the grill real soon. Look at those. You can see some of the cranberry. The white is the maple bacon and the goose meat. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Oh man, those are quarter pounders for sure. Some beautiful goose burgers. We're gonna put a light coating of olive oil on each one of these and we're gonna throw them on the grill. We're gonna do up our mushrooms to go with our burgers. So we'll cut them in half and go ahead and slice them up. Half, slice them up. Half, slice them up. Half. Slice them up, half, and slice them up, half, slice them up. You got yourself a good cube of butter. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in a hot pan. Cube of butter. And we're gonna add our mushrooms. Put it on high heat, because you want the butter to melt fast and you want to sear those mushrooms hot. We are going to add two of the mushrooms. Uh, soya sauce. So about a tablespoon, just haphazardly spray around there. And to make it a bit of a, uh, a teriyaki, you know, we're gonna do a little bit of red wine. So red wine, Mushrooms, butter, soya sauce, high heat, 
and we're just gonna let that let the butter melt up and you're gonna coat all those mushrooms and once we're cooking we're gonna come back to you and show you what it's all about we're about ready to throw these on the grill so I've coated these with some olive oil and we're gonna put those on the grill right about now uh, you want to get your mushrooms going you know before you're ready to do the the bergs so when your mushrooms look like this like a delicious mess of tastiness uh, you can turn the heat off they're well caramelized so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off we're gonna put them aside and we're gonna get to making our burgers once the burgers are ready we'll just turn this on medium heat to melt the butter again So here's the final product. Our goose burgers are cooked and ready. Mm -hmm.